All right, guys. So here are the bars. My Royal Canadian Mint. Again, as a Canadian here, a big fan of the Royal Canadian Mint. So I have um, 100 ounces in uh, the 10 ounce bars. So 10 times 10 ounces, 100 ounces in the uh, Royal Canadian Mint bar. They're 10 ounce bar. I think these bars are just absolutely friggin' beautiful. Um, they, they, I don't know, they just have this elegance about them, kind of, you know, that, uh, I don't know, I just find them really good looking. They're, they're just a really nice bar. I really, really, really dig these guys. Um, I've noticed actually they're a very popular bar too. A lot of people seem to really dig them. Um, I like them for their credibility. Uh, it's Royal Canadian Mint, government issued mint. Never going to have a trouble with it later on. Um, you know, it's, it's also, it's Canadian, right? So kind of that, uh. I, I was looking around trying to find some other uh, minting that's done here in Canada, and it just doesn't seem like there's, I mean, there are some, there's Beaver Bullion, there's a couple other places, but, uh, I mean, the real home runner is is, is the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, and I know everybody says, oh, Canadian silver, milk spots, issues with that sort of stuff, but, uh, I mean, a bar's a bar, right? And you don't have to worry too much about, uh, you know, if you have a milk spot on a bar, I mean, unless you're that one out of 100 guys that wants their bars in perfect condition, um, you know, these are going to hold their value anyway, and, uh, and you don't have to worry about it. And even if you get a scratch or this or that, I mean, half the bars out there, even for the wealthiest people that have millions and millions of dollars in bars, uh, they're not wrapped, they're just stacked on top of each other, you know? They're uh, wearing and they're just strictly there for the bullying. So that's why I, I really like the bars, and I don't have to worry too much about, uh, yeah, any wear or tear and, you know, milk spots and oh no, and keep them in air tights and don't touch them with your fingers and, you know, things like that. Um, and as well, um, I am a gold stacker to a slight degree as well. Uh, I have my uh, two RCM one ounce gold bars there. I think these are really classy bar. Um, these are the older style ones. I know they have a newer one um, coming out. Uh, actually, I think it is already out. But uh, let's get that to focus. Yeah, I mean, these are just really nice bars. I love that they come in these little, little, I guess you call them like a blister pack almost. Um, just again, keeps everything neat and tidy for me. Um, yeah, so, I mean, between the coins and uh, my bars, I guess I'll do a little layout here for you guys. Oops. I mean... That's the stack. So, as it sits, that's where I'm at. Very, very small compared to some of you uh, big guns out there, I guess I could say. You know, I see you on YouTube all the time. 6,000 ounce stacks, 1,000 ounce stacks, 500 plus ounce stacks. Um, you know, and I'm sitting here <laughs> at a measly uh, 110, you know, uh, with two ounces of gold. So again, I mean, it's a start. Figured I'd get in the videos uh, early on and kind of show you guys so you can have a bit of progress as I go. Um, a lot of my work actually, uh, when I make a lot of my money, happens in the summertime. So as my work is seasonal. So considering kind of the amount I've stacked up over the winter time, um, you know, summer will be uh, will be a lot more uh, prosperous in the stacking world. So yeah, there's my uh, little stack. Like I said, uh, I'm mostly in it uh, just for the investment portion of it. It's a good way to save, a good way to spend, is what I'll always reinforce to everybody. You know, you, I, my girlfriend loves shopping. She'll spend $200, $300 at the mall, come home with shoes, clothes, all sorts of things, and she wears them five times or three times, and out goes that 500 bucks. She ends up donating it two years, three years down the road when she clears out the closet. And, you know, to me, that, uh, why not turn that uh, the, the rush of buying stuff into, hey, I'm saving. So when my girlfriend gets upset with me and says, why did you order another f couple hundred bucks of this? Or why did you spend another $1,500 on some gold? And at least I can tell her, hey, I haven't spent that money. It's just been reallocated. So at the end of the day, you're not spending, but it makes you feel like you are. So to me, that's the big plus. Um, yeah, and other than that, uh, yeah, here's the stack, guys. So comment, you know. Shoot me some feedback. I know my videos uh, probably could be a little bit better. The lighting and stuff and my uh, focusing on my camera is not working too well. Um, 
but hey, I mean, third video, wanted to get it out there for you guys, introduce myself, give you some, uh, some details about me, and uh, yeah, so enjoy YouTube, take care.